Hello, I'm Clint Smith. Welcome to Thunder Ranch. I've asked you to come here and spend time with us so that we can talk to you about carrying concealed. We're looking at equipment, uh, we're looking at techniques, and we're looking how to combine these things to provide uh, the best block of information so that you can use a concealed carry weapon to defend yourself and your family. Most of you have already made a selection. So the key component is, is, does your choice work? That means you, in a gun that you would carry for personal protection, if you buy a new gun, I would suggest that you shoot a nominal three to 500 rounds through the gun with a nominal at least 50 rounds of the ammunition you plan on carrying on the street. Uh, enough stuff goes wrong on its own. You wanna check your gear and make sure that it works, okay? Get the biggest gun that you'll carry. And then the other thing in weapon selection, remember when you make your selection, you're gonna have to get the clothing to cover it again. Where I'm going with this is, if I get an ankle holster, but I have really tight pants and I can't get the pants leg up. Weapon selection and clothing, they go together. They're components that work together. If I have a good weapon, but can't get it because the clothing, and this is things like open pockets and pull strings. And I'll give you very visual examples of these things, but I need it for you to be aware of it now. Number one, yes, you need a holster. What you're looking for in a holster, and this is an example, an inside the pants, a mag pouch, and an outside the pants. Key ingredients, you wanna be able to get a firing grip. That would be less your finger on the trigger because you want a, tr a covered trigger guard. So we want the firing grip capability with the trigger guard covered, revolver or pistol. We want the belt loops, okay, and the belt to match so that they fit. We want it so that there's no movement of the holster on the belt, and that's a design and fit and function format that you're looking for. What we want to do is show you a couple things because a lot of you will take your guns into this kind of a world where you'd be there. I'll show you strong side, I'll show you opposite side, and I'll show you an ankle gun. The key ingredient is the drawing stroke is pretty much the same. If you remember when I talked to you about your gear, you want to like practice it from all positions. Key components here is what the chairs are doing, okay, and what the table's doing in relationship to the draw. So what I don't want to do is snag things and stuff like that. The format is to avoid the table. So if I kind of push back, the key ingredient is to move your knees to the left so you clear the arc of the draw, move the gun here. I'm pausing here now for a moment so you can see it. This is actually your enemy. In the car, it's a string wheel. In here, it's the table, so you don't clip the end of it. So once it comes clear, if I rack it up and then take it forward to include even if I now wanted to stand up, okay, that would take it into that plane and then come back. And I doubt that I'll be in a hurry to holster it. The other thing is, is I'm pretty sure I'm done eating lunch. Uh, so that kind of gives you an idea about that part. Most of all, when it comes to concealing a firearm, remember that they're not always the most effective tools, or what really makes them effective is the fact that you practice and be competent with them. Hopefully you've gotten some of those ideas or skills out of spending your time with us. Thank you. If you enjoyed this, there's much more in the new Concealed Carry Options DVD set from Clint Smith of Thunder Ranch. Visit AmericanHandgunner.com for details.